We designed our application as a simulation in order to test its flexibility to handle different population sizes and numbers of survey questions. If it were implemented in practice, real data could easily take the place of the simulated data we create. Okay, let's match. This system uses data from a survey with two classes of questions. Students are first asked several primary questions with Boolean answers. Students who give identical responses to all of the questions will be grouped together. The secondary questions may be either Boolean or another numerical format, but students are asked to rank these questions in order of importance. From this data, each student is compared with every other student in the same group according to a weighted sum of the difference between their responses. The simulation then finds the optimal pairings in each group. If there is an odd number of students in a group, including students who are in a group by themselves, the student who is overall least compatible with the others will be left unmatched. This student can either be matched manually or assigned to a single room. Now, we will run this simulation with five primary questions, seven secondary questions, and 150 students. To begin, we will press Compute. As you can see from our results dashboard, we have three tables on the bottom. On the left, it shows the roommates and their matches. In the middle, it shows the students who were not matched. And on the right, it shows the rest of the survey data. On top, we have two graphs, one displaying compatibility scores and the other displaying success rates. So in this trial, there were 19% of the students unmatched and 81% were matched. We can expect these roommates to have optimal compatibility.